this diver manages to offer a number of features that's typically found only on Doxa, Longines, and even JLC. Find out how the Solaris from Durenzo was able to build around this wonderful package in under $1,000. This video is brought to you by Durenzo Watches. The DRZ05 from Durenzo is the fifth collection from this successful micro brand based in Geneva, Switzerland. The diameter without the crown is 39mm with a lug to lug distance of 47mm. The bracelet starts off at 20mm and gradually tapers down to about 18mm. The thickness is nice at 12.5mm and both crowns are threaded, providing a 200m water resistance. Inside this low-date diver is an Elabore SW200 that is a premium Swiss movement that doesn't have a ghost date, has 38 hours of power reserve, and beats at 4 Hz. It uses the common materials such as 316L steel and sapphire crystal as expected. This new collection is the next evolution of the brand's third collection. You can spot the similar design cues such as the bezel markers, dial partitions, and the very same handset. This new collection though introduces some new elements such as the unique water markers that consists of progressive circles. Other elements include the sector lines that gives this dial a vintage spirit and that signature curved inner bezel that is undeniably Durenzo. Sergio Durenzo is an inspiration for many designers like me that strives to one day create a product that truly is adored by people all around the world. This is his fifth and it's a stunner. It has the right blend of proportions and refinements that reveals much about this designer and his tastes. This is also reflected on the packaging that this watch comes into. In this premium magnet flap box is the very handy travel roll made of white canvas lined with red suede material. It's a thick fabric that will protect your watch but softer to handle than your typical watch roll. This has three pockets, perfect for three watches or a watch with a couple of straps. It also comes with a usual warranty card and a few personalized stuff like a greeting card and a nifty brooch. It's an area where cost can be saved, but Durenzo still manages to make it interesting and thoughtful. The thought conveyed really here is travel and watches with the DRZ05. On the wrist, the 39mm case diameter sits just right on my 6.25 inch wrist. The 47mm lug distance produces virtually no overhang and Doxa fans rejoice as the beads of rice style bracelet complements the case nicely. This gives a comfortable fit no matter what shape of wrist you have. Operating the crowns is hassle free but filled with satisfying haptics all around. Unscrewing the crown feels secure and there's no wiggling stem feedback. A very soft pop can be felt as you pull the crown and the time setting is smooth as expected from this elaborate movement. Screwing back the crown is equally solid. The same is felt on the bezel crown and this is where a touch of refinement is obvious. Compared to other inner rotating bezels, Durenzo added a smooth ratchet action in this one. This is still 120 clicks and can be done in both directions. I've only felt this kind of bezel refinement on another watch, the JLC Polaris. With this design, there is also no bezel play when securing back the crown. Let's take a closer look at some of the fun design elements all over this case and bracelet. This lug shape is an ingenious way of creating a slim down lug design while keeping it thick and robust. This curved and polished chamfer disappears in the shadows leaving this narrow curvature. With the crystal sitting above the bezel, there's also this gorgeous rim lighting all over the radial finish. In contrast, the backside has an illustrated stamp over a bead blasted plane. We've seen this class before and here it serves its purpose while flaunting the Durenzo logo. It has a good milled out flip safety lock and equally thick bridges. The links are short and very articulate. As we move up back to the case, we cannot escape looking at the two crowns. They are wide and beautifully polished at the tips. Durenzo also went to the trouble of painting a different color on the bezel crown. On the dial, the center of attraction is the darkened inner dial with a subtle matte finish, 
reminiscent of long jeans sector dials. This is elegantly framed with a radial fume outer dial that gives off its own shimmering delight. Lovely indexes are placed over this surface that is nicely polished, if I may add. Also, a visual treat is how the inner bezel connects with the rest of the design elements while animating the dial in the process. Under low light conditions, that dial definitely comes alive with ample applications of Swiss Superluminova. This carefully balanced watch has the right proportions and proper amounts of artistic directions. But throwing in a few straps actually changes its appeal even more. Don't get me wrong, the Beads of Rice bracelet is more than graceful enough to be your only Durenzo band. But there is a compelling reason to explore swapping it out every once in a while. A quality-grade sailcloth strap never gets old. On this white stitch leaf spring strap from Artem, you could practically say that both watch and band were made for each other. The nice texture of the material provides interest while the white stitch points back to the dial's lighter elements. It also helps that this Solaris appears black in certain angles. Snapping on an all-black strap gives more focus on the well-balanced case. Popularized by Blancpain, this textured monotone strap and case configuration gives a more hard-working spirit around it. That sentiment is quite unusual because NATO straps were meant to be that kind of purpose-built design. But on a colorful NATO, this case design looks and feels a bit more daring. Much like the travels that you would intend to bring this with. But once you choose an accented strap, you can now instantly change the personality from bold and daring into capable and sporty. Notice how I have it here on an orange accent and yet it still pairs well with the red dial because the color tones are close enough to be seamless. Of course, not all NATOs fit all wrists. Mine practically wants to fly away every chance it gets, but it's still versatile enough to be worn on various situations. Here's another sporty strap, but this time it's a light-toned and racing-inspired band. Those crowns sort of doubles as chronograph pushers that taps into our collective perceptions of Hoyer-era chronos. Back to the Beads of Rice bracelet, and it's clear that it's hard to beat this combo. A modern classic that's refined to be a designer's dream. Priced at 720 Swiss francs, the Solaris is a bona fide Swiss watch that plays in the affordable watch segment. Lorenzo, the designer, infused his knowledge of architecture in a well-built, aesthetically pleasing watch. There's plenty of curves used on the case and dial that translates harmoniously on the bracelet and links. The overall presentation reminds many of us of the legendary divers, if you know what I mean, and yet maintains the identity that's carried over from the previous four collections. And based on their current stock of these Solaris divers, you better grab one while you still have the chance. I'm a little late in the Durenzo game, but man, when I saw this and unboxed it, it was a real stunner. I'm not big into the Beads of Rice bracelet, but when I saw this in person, I am now a believer. And truly, Durenzo is one of those micro brands that its refinements and quality precedes its reputation. Well done, Mr. Durenzo, and here's hoping to see more of your collections in the near future. This is mine. What a stunner. What a stunner.